hey we're back and we're at our site where we're going to be adding a website we're going to be putting a design on this site in the next couple of seconds and as you can see it's just saying index of that means the site is now fully functional and all it is is just waiting for us to put something on it and I'm going to show you how to do that with a few clicks of a mouse so first things first you want to do is go to the C panel so that is the website name and then forward slash C panel and you're going to get two ways for you to be able to log into the cPanel. You can enter your username and password straight here. Or if you don't know it or you get it wrong, you'll be taken to this one here. And you can enter your information and then you just click the login button. So I'm going to pause the camera, enter my information and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, we are now in the cPanel. And from here you can play around with the functions and change what happens within the site now you can click to go through these tutorials but I don't need to go through the tutorials because I've been through it a few times but feel free to go through them and the thing that we're gonna be looking for is a smiley face called Fantastico and it is this one just here now with Fantastico it allows you to do a, add a lot of functionality to your website and the type of website we're going to be doing is a blog. We're going to be installing a WordPress blog. So you just click on this section where it says WordPress. And you're going to have multiple options. The reason for WordPress is because it's easy to update. It's easy for it to be managed. And you can change the look of it very, very quickly. Now you click on the section here that says New Install. And it's going to ask me where do I want to install it. Now, if I leave this section blank, it will install it so every time somebody goes to faststartinternet.com it will automatically have a blog installed there or I can put forward slash blog or forward slash whatever I want it to be I'm gonna leave it blank right now and let me give this a name let me call it admin and I'm gonna use the password as password for now obviously I will change it later and I don't recommend you leave your passwords as password and can put a site description in if needed but I'm gonna leave this for now and just click install WordPress okay and now the last thing to do is just click finish installation and it says it's complete all I need to do now is enter my email address here and then press send and it will send the information of what I've just done here to email and I can actually go and log straight in but let's take a quick look at the site and then we'll be able to log in after so let's make our way over to here it is fast start internet just open a new tab and there we have our site so it just went from more or less a blank page to an entire site and I'm going to show you how to f fiddle around with this and make it look good okay